Anybody in here think of $12 for vegan cotton candy? No, I'll no, say right? seven. Exactly. <laughs> We're messed up. We're messed up. But by her setting the bar higher, I was challenged to figure out, well, how can we demand $12 for vegan cotton candy? By pitching it. It's a fundraiser, ain't it? We're not literally selling a thing that's worth $7, even if it's cotton candy, are we? We're mm. selling the perceived value. And you are selling them on the fear of missing out. You mean to tell me you're not gonna get this limited edition vegan cotton candy? On the cone, we got a sticker with a special number on it. If you put your number in on the website, you might be part of the raffle. I know you could facilitate that, right? <laughs> See what I'm saying? I think like that, but this ain't new thinking. This old hustler thinking. All you gotta do is bring an old hustler into the team. Show me how to hustle this. Show me how to make it. You know, just somebody's gonna keep it ethical. But the hustler gonna come up with some hustle nomics for you all day long. The best thing is if you get somebody like me, a righteous hustler. See, we learn how to hustle ethically. We know how to hustle ethically, you know? And these skills are skills that are soft skills that take decades to acquire. So when you have people in the community, I don't care if they're an alcoholic, why don't you help them get off drinking then? And bring their skills on board, because that's a natural resource that you can use. Not exploit, you can use. You don't want to bring in the guy that's an alcoholic because he's an alcoholic? How dare you? That means you don't want to help the alcoholic. That means you only want to exploit people. Use people that don't require you investing in them. What? You want to use people that don't require you investing in them? Let's go Oh, yeah. Let's just go after the rich people. That's what so many people do. I don't go after the rich people, as you can tell. I go after the real people. What my meeting be? Only real people. Don't be no rich people. It'd be some rich people, too, but they'd be wealthy in a different way. They don't be flaunting their richness or trying to be richer than somebody. They might have it. They just not showing it. I go after real. Those that really are committed and follow the heartbeat of the community. Those that really care. Those that are really plugged in. Those that know who got shot the other day. Those that know what's happening in the high school. I, that's, that's what I'm committed to, and that's what I wanted to document and, and say that this is what I do, and this is what I'm doing differently, but this is the only thing that's real. And so what you have is real, because that's all I come to. And I'm trying to create a model through which you guys can turn this into curriculum so we can reproduce real. That's all we need to reproduce. And real is not even a reproduction. Real emerges authentically from your inner genius. That's why it's indigenous. It just comes out of you. The more you become yourself, the more your natural self come out of you. We got people that's as white as a piece of paper, but there's something indigenous in them that's just trying so hard to come out. Give them an opportunity. Let them figure it out. I ain't saying let everybody that's white come on and say, I'm not white. No. Tell that person, I need you to be righteous. Don't tell me you're a Native American. Tell me you're striving to be righteous. Do everybody receive you as white? That's cool. Did your parents raise you as white? That's cool. Did you grow up with white culture? That's cool. You don't want to be like that? You don't want to be part of the supremacist thing? Okay. You don't need to sell me on your ethnicity. Sell me on your morality. Show me your commitment. Show me your righteousness. And then we're not even going to have to give... What? What? We're going to have to give the Indian part of you credit for being righteous? That's kind of fucked up, ain't it? <laughs> nah. Let's say maybe the white part of you want to be righteous. You know what I mean? Maybe there's a hard-ass Scythian, Caucasian, Viking warrior in there, and he was just a real moral person. And that's your bloodline. Why not? Why not? The only way that a human community can survive is not by the wickedness of it, but by the righteous among it. They're the ones that keep a people going. And that's why black people are timeless. Because of the righteous element. The predominance of the natural righteous element. It's just natural. Because black people are the original people. So you have all the original archetypes. Including the archetypes that it takes to 